NXSCP um, is under the couch. And the nickname they gave it is Forbidden Furniture. Okay. Why do they even re-nickname it? I don't know. Do you want me to read this one? You can if you want. I feel like it go it probably is a little less like stressful if we take turns reading if that makes sense. Yeah. And plus this one says isn't, isn't long. I would say, and it doesn't seem like it's going to be as dark as the last one, but yeah. I'm not going to jinx it. I don't know how dark it is. Mm -hmm. Item SCP-995. That's the one we're on, right? Yeah. Yep. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. Something was definitely flashed off, so I will ignore that part, although I want to read it out loud. Oops. Locked out, so all personnel should be sterilized before and after coming into the containment cell. SCP-995 is to be contained in multiple terrariums with each colony separated. Currently, there are four columns. Each terrarium is to be made to fit the number and size of SCP-995 in the colony. SCP-995 has been moved to a larger containment room with a 20 by 20 which is 20 by 20 meters. Each terrarium is to be cleaned weekly. If any colony reaches to the established population limit, randomly selected 995s are to be destroyed. Only level two personnel or higher are granted access to SCP-995 with approval from any level three researcher has been assigned to 995. Feeding of specimens is to be done once, twice a week at appropriate hours. Doing any containment breach, I mean, during any containment breach, the room is to be sterilized by incineration. Oh! Yeah. SCP-995 is an organ uh, description, SCP description, on the description. SCP-995 is an organism, organism with traits that vary between those of fungi and those of animals. SCP-995's life cycle starts with it being a spore. The spore stays dormant until it finds an area that has low light and is moist. However, an SCP-995 spore has, probably, has a probability of activating under artificial structures such as household furniture, leather, vinyl, and polyester seem to be favored. There, the spore will grow into a soft organic mass, which will feed off microorganisms in air. It will continue to grow, sprouting appendages, enabling it to move. A mouth will soon form, along with teeth and a simple digestive tract. Okay, this is slightly not nourished. Mm -hmm. SCP-995, in its mature stage, feeds on larger organisms, such as insects and rodents. Oh! The, specimens, um, the specimen will then start generating more instances of SCP-995 via reproduction of spores. 995 has been known to reach the size of data readapted and diam, 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 I know this word, I know how to say it. Diameter, okay. Infants have become prey along with household pets. If a large population of SCP-995 has spawned in a small area, at 995 will start to migrate, having capab the capabilities of infesting an average house by the hundreds in a few days. Oh, gosh! Ow. Oh, gosh. Well... The first instance of 995 was discovered in re 
Redacted Furniture Shop in Redacted. GA is for Georgia, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which closed down the previous month due to financial issues. Oh, so it ended up getting fungi. Okay. A group of adolescents trespassed in the closed shop and discovered a partially consumed body of a homeless man who seemed to have taken shelter in the store. Police were called and discovered the large colony of SCP-995 in the store. The foundation team was sent to investigate. The team administered a class A admiss <clears throat> The team administered class A amnestics to the police officers involved and shipped the colony of SCP-995 to site redacted. Fair enough. Addendum. SCP-995 has been relocated larger since the location of three new colonies have been discovered and contained. A list has been configured to catalog the current colonies and their diverse characteristics. Oh. List of colonies of 995. Colony dash A was discovered in uh, March 3rd. The year is redacted. The number of specimens is 349. Description. Uh, 995-A is the original colony of SCP-995. They're a grayish blue in color ranging from 8 centimeters to 40 centimeters in diameter during mature age. Okay. Yeah. Sh should we translate that to inches? Maybe. Does everyone understand eight to forty centimeters? Maybe. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to translate that for people who may not know. Eight centimeters is three is a little over three inches. And 40 centimeters is a little, I mean, is, is past 15 centimeters. It's almost 16 centimeters. Not centimeters, it's it, 40 centimeters is almost 16 inches. Almost. Okay. Does, does that help people? Yes. Okay. Special characteristics, SCP-995-A move on four appendages with clawed feet and currently appear to have the fastest reproductive rate. Oh, great, great. Colony B, discovered in June, redacted, redacted. Okay, June. Somewhere in June. Yeah. Number of specimens. Ten. All right. Dash B are dark green and range from 30 centimeters to redacted centimeters in diameter during mature age. Yeah, that fills me with confidence. <laughs> basically like this is almost 12 inches but don't worry we're not going to tell you the max limit yeah okay special characteristics 995-b are the most aggressive of the, of the species and have an elongated snout with an extremely sharp needle-like teeth which are coated in an unknown paralyzing agent oh nice who knows how big they get, but don't worry, they have paralyzing teeth. They get as big as pigs. 
What makes you say that? I was just making a joke because it's an elongated snail. Oh. <laughs> now we're on Colony C. They were found in January 2nd, 2008. Oh my gosh! A number that has been redacted! <laughs> number of specimens. 264. Description. Dash C are black in color and range from 5 centimeters to 20 centimeters in diameter at the mature at the mature age. Special characteristics. Dash C are the smallest in size and are able to expel a highly acidic chemical from their four eyes. Of course. They they seemed too nice for being so small. They had to add something. Yeah. All right, Colony D. Found in April 30th. Wait. That, that's May. 2011. Oh, May before April. May, May before after April. April. Okay. April okay. <laughs> May 30th, 2011. Number of specimens, 23. Dash D are dark red in color and range from 10 centimeters to redacted centimeters in diameter during mature age. Thank you! <laughs> They're probably smaller than Dash D, but I still don't like that. Yeah. Special characteristics. 995-D are able to have of noise which vary from ringtones to a human infant's cry. Oh, thanks! It's presumed that these sounds are made to lure... It is presumed that these sounds are made to lure the prey in uh, Dash D's area where a group of them would attack. Dash D seems to be the most advanced in behavior and intelligence. These are all nightmare fuel. Thank you. Any comments? No. Nope. Oh, nope. I see you now. Hey. I'm back. <laughs> Fuck you, hope yes. Well, I love how right as you swear at it, it briefly does the, I'm loading. Yeah. That was very brief, but man. It's like it's going like, I'm watching you, Bright. Don't be a mouthy, you psych person. Yeah. Want to go to the video? How bad can it get? I don't know. It's a really simple SCP this time around. Well, let's first look at the thumbnail. Honestly, I know it's not related to the flesh that hates, but it reminds me slightly of it, like a weird relative. The other day, they thought the same thing. Oh, no. Oh, poor. Wait, I just realized they're sticking oh, the tentacles no. underneath the shirt. Yeah. They don't have tentacles, but they gave them tentacles because tentacle porn. Yep. I'm not going to pretend I don't know this. Also, they're throwing bugs in randomly. Bugs have nothing to do with the SCP unless they're eating the bugs. And we're back. Fuck. You. LBS. You 
Now, anyways, we ready? Yeah. Ready for brain rat? All right, let's go. Oh wait, let's see. Did I get the license? Yes. Cutting class was becoming a bad habit. He'd often find himself bored or angry with what his teachers were trying to get across to him. At those times, he'd just blow off the next class and hide behind the bleachers. Lately, though, he'd taken to walking around the old town. Something about the abandoned and derelict buildings intrigued him. As he continued on his walk, he put his earbuds in. They popped and crackled. Really need to get around to buying some new ones, he thought to himself. Hello, what's this? He hadn't taken notice of this house before. The door stood partially ajar. His curiosity got the better of him. A little peek couldn't hurt. The interior was run down and in a state of disrepair. Yuck. The air had a funny smell to it. Probably mold. It did feel slightly damp inside. A chair, some bottles, and a sleeping bag laid on the floor. Likely... What? Good to see you, Ray. What the How's fuck? How's a new location treating you? Wait, what? You know, maybe read a book, take a nap, and a sleeping jar. His All right, I went back. I don't know what the hell that was. A little peak couldn't hurt. I don't know the interior either. was run down and in a state of disrepair. Yuck! The air had a funny smell to it, probably mold. It did feel slightly damp inside. A chair, some bottles, and a sleeping bag laid on the floor. Likely some homeless people were sleeping here, he thought to himself. They wouldn't be back until later this evening. That gave him plenty of time to relax. He used this from the doll Maybe SCP. Read a book. Same room. Take a nap? Why not? He wasn't going back to school today. That's for sure. He sat down on the floor, looking through his playlist. Oh my god. He liked his music loud, but these earbuds were really past their best. He quickly turned back to look over his shoulder. He thought he heard something. But there wasn't anything there. He chuckled to himself. Even if someone was there, he wouldn't be able to hear anything anyway. He pulled out his book and continued where he'd left off. He stopped and looked up. That same odd feeling came over him again. He sniffed the air. Mold. Was it black mold? He'd heard that could be deadly. He waved the thought away. He was just being paranoid. He turned back to his book. The shadow slowly creeped over him. He stopped. Something was behind him. He couldn't hear it over the music, but the shadow had completely covered him now. It is. He slowly turned to see what it was. What? What? I'm on location about to enter the house. Let you know what we find. The agent stepped into the house. It reeked of mold and decay. This entire area had been monitored by the Foundation for a while now. For some reason, now. it seemed to have a higher than normal occurrence of anomalous activity. He looked at the floor and saw a backpack, book, and a phone. A partially ripped apart cord and earbuds laid on the floor besides it. He followed the direction the cord was pointing to. Oh God, patch me in the cloth now! Who? Agent Ray? Where is he at? I'm on my way. He gunned the motorcycle as he headed towards the location. The van pulled up outside the house. Dr. Claus, thanks for coming so quickly. No, no, no. No, I didn't expect to be back here again so soon. Right? What is it about this street? I wish I knew. So, what do you have for me? You'll want to see this for yourself. Lead the way. Jeez, really? Who invited you to the party? Chen don't need no invite. Chen goes where Chen wants to go. Are what? you going to be referring to yourself in the third person the whole time? Because that's going to get really annoying, and you're normally pretty annoying to begin with. You got a smart mouth, Ray. <laughs> and you got a smart nose he from what I hear. The two men squared off, mm -hmm. looking each other dead in the eye, neither blinking. Ha <laughs> ha! Same old Chen. You know it. Good to see you, Ray. How's the new location treating you? You know how it is. New office, same old anomalous stuff. So if you two are finished flirting, can we get in there? Sorry, oh my God. Sorry, Doc. 
What in the... I think it's asleep. Well, this looks like a pretty open and shut case. The chair did it in the living room with the mouth. So the kid was sitting on the floor, listening to music and reading a book from the looks of it, and then this chair creature just comes over and eats him? How did he not hear that coming? You said it yourself. He was listening to music. And you want to know why he didn't hear it coming? Because of those old earbuds. They don't have awareness mode. You oh, no. Don't no, no, fuck people. Get them to an advertisement. Sounds a lot like they're trying to say he wouldn't get murdered if he had new earbuds. It was too late. All right, I want this whole house quarantined and that chair loaded up and taken back to my lab. I'll see to it. You come too, Ray. You were the first on scene. I, I might have some questions. No problem. Hey, Chin, can I borrow that bike? Not a single scratch. Chen tossed him the keys. This thing is amazing. I wonder how it started off, how it got into the chair. Wait, you mean it's not the chair? I thought it just disguised itself to look like a chair. No, the, the material of the chair is genuine. It, it somehow attached itself to the chair. Where's Ray? One sec. Ray, where are you at? I'm almost there. I'm just parking up the bike. Roger. He'll be with us in a minute. Let's take it for an x-ray. I want to have a better look on the inside. Yep, good. Look, no, bit to the left. Left. Ugh. Right. Why? Right. Right. Yep. Right there. Perfect. Thank you. This thing is heavy, you know. Ah, there you are. Did you see any other furniture like this? With teeth and claws? No. That was the only one. All right. Let's run the x ray. Anyone feel like a coffee? I could definitely use one. Same here. I could definitely go with a strong. Stop! Stop! Emergency quarantine nope. now! Lock down this room! Lock down my lab! On it. What is it? Do you see that? Quarantine teams en route. Chen, you want to know how it got in the chair? How? It's not just some animal, it's also fungal. The chair has spores in it. Spores? Like mold? Uh huh. And do you know how easy mold spreads? We need immediate decontamination. <sighs> well, this is nice and cozy, isn't it? At least we got our coffee. How long do we need to be here? We're on fluconazole. We've gone through enough decontamination. It shouldn't be much longer. Back to business then. Where did this thing come from? I've been going through these shots from the house and these close-ups from the furniture. Did you see this? What's that say? Hardy's Furniture Shop. That's our first port of call. I don't know. As soon as they get us some new clothes. They pulled up in front of the store. The windows were covered with paper, and a for sale message was scrawled onto the windows. I'll take the lead on this one, Chen. Lead the way. Ray opened the door. Inside was dark and damp. It looked like nobody had been here for months, or even years. At first, everything looked normal. Then he saw it. One of the chairs moved. Then another. And another. It opened its four eyes, and spat some what? sort of acid out of them. Fall back! This whole place is infested! Did you see that thing? It was spitting acid! They're evolving. Let's get them back to the foundation and into containment. We can study up. them under safer yep. conditions there. Oh, and burn this building to the ground. Morning, Doc. Find anything interesting? First things first, my coffee. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Oh, coffee. <laughs> Chen watched Kloss as he sipped his coffee. Okay, enough. Did you find anything? Uh-huh. And? And what? What did you find? I'll let Agent Ray fill you in on that. He's on his way now. Right on cue, the door opened behind them. Morning, Chen. Ray? Chen here is asking what you found. Would you care to explain? Sure. 
So you remember that chair that spits acid? Yeah, that one. Right. Well, it seemed to be the most evolved. So we worked our way back until we found that one back there. It seems to be the most simplest in terms of biology. Just some teeth and claws, really. So that's the first one? We think so, yeah. But it looks so much more modern than the rest. That's because it came from another place. It ended up at Hardy's Furniture Shop and then infected the other furniture before being moved to the house we found it at. So it could have spread yep. its fungus before Hardy's even. That's, that's the problem. It came from, a, well, a, a pretty big store. How big? Mm -hmm. Real big. How big is uh, real we big? Well, at the you know SCP-3008, the what? infinite Ikea? You gotta be kidding. What? What? SCP-995, object class, Euclid. 995 is an organism with traits that vary between those of fungi and those of animals. 995's life cycle starts with it being a spore. 995 spores have more probability of activating under artificial structures, such as household furniture. There, the spore will grow into a soft organic mass, which feeds Not off microorganisms in the air. No. Nope. It will continue to grow, sprouting appendages, enabling it to move. A mouth will soon form, along with teeth and a simple digestive tract. 995 in its mature stage feeds on larger organisms, such as insects and rodents. The specimen will then start generating more instances of SCP-995 via the reproduction of spores. All personnel should be sterilized before and after coming into the containment cell. 995 is to be contained in multiple terrariums, with each colony separated. Currently, there are four colonies. Each terrarium is to be cleaned weekly. Feeding of the specimens is to be done twice a week at appropriate hours. During any containment breach, the room is to be sterilized by incineration. A chair isn't always just a chair. Don't accept things at face value if you're unsure. Always question and find out more. You never know what's hiding beneath the surface. As always, have a what? Mm. I feel like they got spores everywhere. Like they got spores everywhere besides the fence of this. Uh, yeah. I agree. It was just what the fuck. The offensiveness and only men. Are you saying like it's a zero? Well, they used to actually they. Should we count the characters they removed and changed as offensiveness? No, that's that's in another category. Yeah. They didn't really insult anyone or act racist or sexist. So, gotta give it a zero? At least it's not a zero! Why did they change so much of the SCP, even when they were talking about it? It's like they didn't read the file at all. Yep. They were even color-coded! 